Hello everybody, I am back with more Lost Judgment Kaito files. Now I did already beat the game, but um, what I wanted to do is, um, first of all, I wanted to get all the abilities on Kaito because you unlock something called Letter of Challenge. I'm not 100% sure what that is. I want to see what that is. And also, I just want to share my thoughts on the story of this expansion. Or, yeah, I guess it is, I guess you could call it an expansion. Because uh, I didn't really have the chance to do that last time. And, um, you know, now that it's been like a few days and I've had a chance to really, like, you know, digest the story and everything. Um, yeah, I really want to talk about it. Um, I'll wait... Till more people get here though. I actually, you if you saw my last stream, I actually did level up like a bunch of this stuff, but then I died and um the auto save in this game is like kind of messed up. It seems like it only saves every like half hour or something, so I ended up like losing a bunch of progress. Like a ton of the stuff I did. So I'm gonna have to do it all over again. Which is just as well, because, you know, I did want to do a little bit more in this. And, um, you know, I want to have enough stuff to do so it's like a whole stream. So yeah, so this. You have to learn all other skills. Letter of Challenge. Oh, see, I didn't even... Let's go get that first. That's a really important item. I mean, let's fight these guys first. Nice. Oh, we're so strong. No. Okay. I ended up dodging it anyways because I was on the ground. No. Calm your ass down. Yeah. I also, um, I adjusted some audio levels on my stream. I hope it's, I hope it's good now. Oh yeah, and I also saw in someone else's stream, I know where, um, two of the cats are that I'm missing. They're both kind of out of the way, so I can see why I missed them. <laughs> Try to get aerial supremacy, but it's kind of hard when everyone just like dies so fast. There we go. And I need to get aerial supremacy a lot um, for one of the abilities. Well, the cats is in here, so I can see why I missed it so much. There you are. Sweet. To count my way, June. Let's fight these guys. Let's try to do the drop kick. Nice. Let me see if there's any other ones where I need to win in certain ways. Stiffed. That's what I need. Um, perfect Iron Guard. Okay, that's the other thing I need to do. I think you can only get each battle bonus uh, once per battle, even if you do the thing. Oh, fuck off, dude. Come on. Come on. That didn't do it. There we go. Okay. 
Oh my god, the camera. Alright, um... I think the other cat that I need is down... It's, it's near the uh, Yoshinoya, near Millennium Tower, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I'll fight these guys. Oh, no you don't with that freaking flamethrower thing. Can I perfect guard against knives? I can't guard, so I can probably perfect guard. There we go. I wanna- I don't remember this EX move, I wanna use it. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> nice! Oh, also, speaking of Millennium Tower, there's also something else I want to do there. Oh, can I, like, do something with this dude against the car? That would just be so good. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot. He has, like, a... a different grab in Bruiser. Oh, well, it's probably not gonna work. I think there's still some EX actions I haven't seen. Oh, that one's a classic. Let's see, where was it? Oh! It's right there, you can just see it. Miracle darts, hell yeah! Probably gonna save the game, like, over and over again. You know, just, just to make sure. Iron liver. You no longer get hammered and can drink without limit. So there's no bottomless stomach in this game, but there's like an alcohol version, which is kind of interesting. This must be the ability that Ken Mochi has. Alright, now we're near Millennium Tower. Um so if you saw my um playthrough of this. Uh, you might have seen, when I got to the credits in the game, I saw that Ryan was in the credits. You know, the character Ryan, like, with those voice actors and stuff? Oh... Well, I saw- I- I saw where he is. He's on the roof. Uh, the Comro Theater, but looks like I can't even go there right now. He's on the you can see him in the game, like, before you get to, like, the end game, like, earlier in the story, so he's not the, um, Ladder of Challenge, I don't think. I guess we'll find out. Let's fight this dude. Oh shit! Oh no, it's Hammer, dude. He's super strong. Come on. Oh, he- he does so much damage. <clears throat> Let's do the sushi set. Oh, we gotta dodge. Ah, oh, shit! Couldn't dodge in time. See, the problem is I dodge too soon because his dodge, like, animation. It makes it look like it takes longer for him to dodge, but I think that's just the animation. Oh, I'm doing a bad job. Oh, I missed it. It seems like they made it if you spam the dodge button instead of, like, timing it right. It, like, it doesn't let you 
It lets you dodge, but doesn't let you do the uh, normal reversal. There we go. <clears throat> I still feel like these guys are easier than when you fight them with Yagami. Now, I don't know if that's intentional, but if it is, it probably is just because Kaito is like physically stronger than Yagami. <laughs> Just diving into the boxes. Alright. So I want to go to, um, Ebisu Pawn Shop. Oh, we can also fight these dudes. <clears throat> Oh, fuck the dude with the gun. Nice. There we go. It's too bad that- Oh wait! Oh, Kaito can use taunt but Okay, hold on. I need to use this. Oh no, it got destroyed! I want to see if- Oh no, it's over here! I need to see if Kaito has a unique EX action with this. I think it's different than Yagami's. You'd think it would be, I'm not sure though. I wonder if Beast has a different EX action than, um... Uh, than... Bruiser. Or not Beast, Tank. I keep wanting to call them by the Kiryu's. <laughs> version of them, because that's what I'm used to. No, I don't care about the lost item, because it's not like they can even really give me anything that's worth it. I'll get this. Now get this. Oh, I wish I had gone this during the story mode. Um, oh, the- no, these are what I wish I got during the story mode. Um, it says someone might mistake me for an escaped patient if I walk around town wearing this. I'm pretty sure just in the open world it doesn't, like, make people react in any way, but I definitely would love to see during, like, story moments when you have to wear a disguise. I love to see how people react to it. Yeah, I might as well. I don't got anything else to spend money on. Especially if the letter of challenge is what I think it is. Right, let's save the game again. See, I've been playing for over 10 minutes. And it hasn't auto-saved, like, at all. And I have no idea if it's supposed to be that way or not. What? Oh, this is the weird... This section- this happened earlier in the game. This, like, area right here is really weird with, like, fights. Like, you keep getting in and out of fights for some reason. Nice. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Lone Wolf. R2 at low health. EX Gauge will gradually charge while your health is low. That's- that's a good, um... That's a good ability in any RGG game. Master of Disguise. They should have... I wish they had this in Base Lost Judgment. Or the original Judgment. I mean, I think... I think Yagami's disguises are more interesting for the most part. So, um... I mean, everyone loves Vampire Yagami. It would have been so awesome to be able to just wear that anytime. But I wanna... I wanna wear retro style. 
Yes! Right cell just looks so cool like this. Alright, what am I doing now? What do I still need? Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I just need stiffed, and then I need the memory point. Which I don't remember. It's got a bulldozer. I found all these last stream, but I don't remember now where they are, and I also don't remember which ones I got before. But I think I have an idea of where it might be. Let's see, I know there's one... I got the one here, and then there- this is Pink Street, right? Yeah, cause there was one in Pink Street too. In a really stupid location, actually. Let's fight these dudes. He tried to do the, like, drop kick and it doesn't work. This dude straight up has grenades, and he just, like, killed one of his friends. Or so some had grenades, something exploded. I think Stift is actually the only one I need. I don't need, uh, Aerial... The Aerial one anymore. Come on, Kaito. Come on, man. Yes. I want this dude's top. Top. Come on. Good. No. Fuck you. Kaito! I want to see if it has a different- Oh no, it's the same EX action. I know with Yagami, some of the weapons that you could use would actually have different EX actions based on which fighting style you were in. Which was really cool. I mean, any time you get to have an extra EX action is great. Okay, I think I got the one here. It was like on a billboard. Hold on one second. Okay. Let's see. So where else? Where have I not checked yet? Or rather... Where, where did I check in my last stream before I died and lost, like, a bunch of progress? I guess I'll just check all the spots that I remember. So I got the one that was over here already. It's called Matsugane Mixer, so it, it must be related to Matsugane. Alright, I only need to do that thing one more time. This guy attacks fast. Like, really fast. There we go. Let's try Tiger Drop. Or Bomb Punch, as it's called for Kaito. Yeah! Oh, now he's scared. That's what you get. Yeah, oh, he's not dead. Now he is. Now it's your turn. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Let's try going to um, the former Matsugane office. All my son does is watch these streamers lately. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty popular now. <laughs> I wish he could make it big as a streamer, so poor as old man. Chief, maybe it's time for a day off. <laughs> okay, I know I said a lot of these, like, conversations around town. I didn't think there were any new ones from Base Judgment, but I don't remember that one. So maybe that one's new. 
Hey, I want I want to steal your money. Oh, I was trying to bomb punch him. Shit. Come on. There we go, let's do that. Uh, too slow. It's so hard to, like, tiger drop in Dragon Engine, because I'm still just not really used to it. Ooh, platinum plate. Okay. It looks like I got the one here. I'm trying to remember. Uh, let's see. Did I get the one that was in the alleyway? Let's see. I feel like fighting you guys right now. Well, never mind. Well, it was your fault for uh, fighting me right next to these bikes. You know what would be amazing? One of my favorite heat actions from. I think this was in 5 0 in Kiwami was. um. <laughs> The, the taxi, the taxi door heat action where you slam the guy's head in the taxi door. Considering that this brought back a bunch of old heat actions, especially ones that Kiryu used. Um, I wonder if they, if that's in the game. I kind of want to try it. Um, no, I got the memory that was here. Try to remember where else there are memories. Especially like kind of obscure ones. Now I don't care about that. Alright. Usually that E action didn't work with like the actual usable taxis. Um, oh shit, there's a dude with a gun. Fuck that. Okay. Oh, uh, fuck, fuck the flame door too. Okay. Oh, this guy's grenades. Okay. <laughs> he blew up his friend. That is so funny. I hate when you like can't can't grab them for some reason. Okay. Uh no. Well, what happened? I pressed triangle and and I don't know what happened. Just like turned around and let go of him. Oh, that looks so cool in slow motion. That looks so cool. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I don't really want to look it up, but I might have to. It's just called Beef Zone. I thought it was called The Beef Zone. Uh, I'm trying to remember where else there were memories. Where was the place where Hamura took Kaito and he shot him? Was it here? I don't remember. Because I know there is a memory there.
Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. Man, I really don't want to have to look it up, but... I really don't... I really don't remember. Oh, there's something here. Something to smell. Sweet. That's good, because I'm pretty sure I need all of those, too. No, I guess I don't. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. So I'm missing one of those as well. Let's see if there's anything around here. Oh, get out of my way. Freaking NPCs. There's the place from the first Judgment game, but there's nothing there. Oh, how about in here? Oh no, there's nothing here. See if this will work. No, I don't. I don't think that heat action is in this game. I don't know for sure. <laughs> he blew himself up with his own grenade. That is fucking hilarious. No, I. I don't think. I don't think the car door ex action is in this. So. Maybe next game. Maybe it'll it, maybe it'll make its triumphant return in the next game. But that was always like one of my all-time favorite heat actions. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I don't think it's in this, unfortunately. Ah, nice. Uh, where am I even going now? Like, I don't even know. Oh, I want to fight someone over here with this hammer. So you just know there's like an EX action for that. To... Oh no, he's gonna be dead. Nice. Oh, I think I heard gun. Oh, fuck you. Oh, he broke it. God oh, damn it. Nice. I got the memory here. So I'm looking for 
One memory and one crest. Oh, here we go, hopefully. The sign? Is it the motorcycle? I remember getting this before, but I don't remember where it is. Here we go. Yes! Okay, now we can get this. 300% more SP after battle, as if I need it. Alright, let, let's save the game again. Look! Half an hour and it still has an autosave. Yeah, th this has- the autosave has to be, like, broken or something. Let's see. I'm pretty sure this last memory is where Hamura kidnapped Kaito, but I don't I don't remember where he takes him. I really don't remember. Oh says grenade. Fuck that. Yeah, I might have to look up where this last memory is, because I really don't remember. There's actually two more that I need. Oh, so I need this one, too. I need both of these. Man, it's so frustrating, because I did get all of them before, but then the freaking autosave, you know, didn't save. And then I died, and I lost, like, half an hour of progress. I'm pretty sure I got the one at Charles, like, ages ago, but I'll check again. Yeah, it was- it was here. Hmm. I might end up having to look it up. I feel like fighting anyone right now. Got more important things to do. That's fine, because there's a heat action. I wanted to see if it was in this. No, oh, stop it. Oh, shit! 
Dude, that was a new one. That was dope. Alright, let's do it, June. No, let's do it again, because it was just so awesome. Oh, it's so fucking brutal. I love it. Now it's your turn. Oh yeah, slightly different camera angle this time. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I should have fought them in here. There'd be like a million things to use on them. Okay, I didn't go over here because I thought there'd be a memory. I just wanted to do the uh, UFO catcher. Can I get the ones with the cats? Oh, I don't- I don't want Onomichio. Oh, it's Kamuok too. No, I don't want those. I want the cats. No. Come on, they, they gotta be in this. Like, they have to have all the UFO prizes that were in Face Judgment. Oh, come on. Oh, did I seriously not have them? I thought the cats were in base judgment. So I'm pretty sure they were in the other Dragon Engine games. All right, one more time. I guess they're not. Yeah, I don't really want any of them, actually. There was a memory at Honmarin, uh, but I don't remember if I got that one already or not. It's not here. I don't really want to fight those guys. It's over here, yeah? Or a more, not Hon Marin. Uh, but yeah, I already got the one here. Oh shit, some of the fucking gun. There we go. Oh fuck you, man. Shit. Some move I want to do. Oh fuck! No, no! Fuck! That is such bullshit, dude. Well, good thing I didn't do anything important since I last saved. Man, I might really have to look up where these are. I really don't want to, but I'm gonna do it.
All right, sweet. I found the page with all of them. I thought I I thought I checked that place. Okay. Oh, I gotta waste my time with these dudes. Oh, that guy's like on top of the bike. No, don't punch the bike. That's the problem with having a beast mode type fighting style in Dragon Engine. So many times you just end up like punching and breaking the item instead of picking it up. Here. Oh, here it is. My hurry. Shit. Oh, I didn't want to use my EX. Nice. <laughs> Look at that guy's animation, that, like, onlooker. He's like, yeah. Okay. There we go. Now I just need Matsugane Mixer. Okay, this is the one I was looking for. Oh, it's on Senryo, not on Pink Street. No wonder I couldn't find it. Alright, we're so close. So close to finally getting this. It's on one of these signs. Hold on. First I want to save the game. Um... Okay, it's down here. Oh, I see it! Probably won't be able to get it without them spotting me. Come on, get closer, Kaito. There we go. Memories of Hamura. <clears throat> Alright, this is it. This is it. Let's see what happens. Letter of challenge. I wonder if it's really going to be an Amon fight. I guess we'll find out. Here we go. That, that guy. Wait, let me help him out. Okay, I think he's okay now. Yeah, I do not want to fight these guys. Actually, how's my health? I should probably heal. So it's gonna be some kind of fight. いらっしゃいませ。Let's see. So what this one is okay. Now I think we want that. Um Tech 
plus seven, defense plus seven. I mean, it would be good to have some defense. It looks like plus seven is like the most I can get. Um, so I don't know what kind of moves this person is going to have. If it's going to be like bleeding, if it's going to be like something else. Actually, something I want to do before I go here. Um... There's some gear at Ebisu that I want to get. I have some stuff to sell too. Yes, platinum plate. I want this. No, I don't. Defense minus 15. I don't want that, actually. Reduce agony duration. That could be good. Oh, look at this. We should get this one. Alright. So, defense plus 20, defense plus 20, okay. I think we can uh, sacrifice a little bit of defense for all of these. Okay. Alright, this is it. Let's save the game. <clears throat> I probably have enough healing items. If I don't, I can always just come back. There are tough enemies ahead, proceed. Enemies plural. I actually really don't know what this is gonna be. Mysterious man. Oh shit. What? This health bar color. Like, how many health bars does he have? Oh my- He has- This is like- This is like Laogui. Kind of. Although it's probably supposed to be like Tessa. I don't know. The thing where he backflipped and threw a knife made me think of Laogui. From zero. Blood drunk master. That's badass. So it went purple. It went like gray to purple to like magenta to blue. Like what are these HP bar colors? Shit. Okay, let's let's set an item. That would be a good idea. Let's set the bento. Oh, I missed. I mean, he missed too, but you know. Whoa, what is that move? I'm so glad to have this, like, repel thing. It's so useful. I'm gonna do this. Oh, come on, Kaito. Does this work on him? I don't think it works, because it's like a grab. You usually can't grab boxes. Well, sometimes you can, but it's like difficult. Oh, 
It does say tough and it said tough enemies plural, so I think it's gonna be more than just this dude. I guess we'll find out. Ooh. Oh shit. Get up, Kaito. I don't think June. Well, June's over there, but I don't know if you can uh, use his EX action. Probably not. Oh, let's do it. Alright, that does decent damage. Alright. <clears throat> Put, put this in here. No, 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 you don't. Oh, I swear I was dodging that shit. I wonder if I should have used beasts, because there's like benches and stuff. Okay, that somehow worked. Oh, fuck. I swear I dodged that shit. Oh my god, now I'm doing, like, really shitty. Nice. Oh, that did not work. I'm really glad I had that, like, bleed reduction and agony reduction thing. We almost got this dude, but I'm sure there's more after him. Nice. Hey Gravity, what's up? I'm fighting like a really hard bonus boss that you can only fight after you've unlocked all of Kaito's skills. I think there's more after this guy too. Gave me an EX action there. Let's do this. Okay, but let's see what's next. Oh, I got a gold trophy. That's cool. I said tough enemies plural, so I think there's another one, but maybe there's not. Well, I guess that was it. Who is this guy? That's it for the trials I've been given by his clan. I can finally get this weird weapon off me. What weapon? You can finally take the crest off and be at peace, or leave it on and watch as challengers come for your head. Ha ha ha. Huh. Is this supposed to be the Leomon? See, he has a similar weapon to what Tesso had. And they, they would wear masks sometimes, but not these. I don't think it's the Amon plan. So they don't- they don't do the whole mask thing. It's Wolverine. Yeah, that's who it is. Alright, where the hell is Ryan? 
I know he he was up here. I saw it in someone's stream that he was up here. Don't tell me it's like after you get to through that. I hope it's not like once you be get past that point in the story, you can't talk to him anymore. I know this isn't Ryan because he has like a different body shape than Ryan. No, I hope I didn't miss out on Ryan. That would be terrible. I saw in someone else's stream he was up here. But, but like, it was in an earlier part of the game. Oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna save the game. Do you have anything else to say? Okay. Probably just the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, weird weapon. That does make it seem like it's Tesso. Tesso's like, no. There can- Yagami can have only one Aniki. And it's me. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't see Ryan. That is so sad. I'm, I'm gonna- I'm, I'm gonna just see... I'm just gonna look up online, just gonna Google it if he's like anywhere else in this. Um, there's a video, but yeah, I mean, it shows him on the roof. Yeah, he is not, he is not here anymore. That is so sad. It shows him like here, but he's not here now. Man, that sucks. I'd have to, like, start a new game or something, which I don't feel like doing. Sweet. So I'm done with Kaito Files, but I actually kind of want to go back to Base Judgment and do some stuff, because there's actually some stuff that I was gonna do, but I, like, forgot to show up. Um... And mainly the the boxing opponents. I forgot to do like all of the boxing opponents. Also, it just gives me a chance to play Mahjong, also. <laughs> Playtime, 99.59.59. Also, we get to see Yagami again, which is always good. I haven't done the boxing minigame in so long. I'm probably gonna be, like, really bad at it. I'm gonna forget how to do, like, all the special moves. Where even am I? I have to- Oh, I'm at, uh, Yorono- What's it called? Yoro- Yorono- Wait, what's it called? Yeah, Yorono Taki. That's what I thought. Okay, I, I am in Ichin show, so... Uh, so let's see. I want to go to the boxing gym. Which should be here. No. It's... I haven't been to Jean Show in so long. Here we go. No, not here. Oh, it's down here. Right? It's crazy how much I forgot, where, like, where everything is.
Yeah, this is right. Um, here we go. Go in. There we go. Pretty sure I learned everything. Oh, I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. I didn't see the white check mark, but yeah, I, I learned everything. Yeah, I never beat Higashi or Kaito. <laughs> Higashi had gone to a gym before. <laughs> also, I like that he's left-handed. Or at least the box is left-handed. I don't know if that means he's actually left-handed, but... As a fellow lefty, I think it'd be really cool if Higashi were left-handed. Alright, I haven't done this in forever, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Look, I don't remember any of the special skills or anything. Higashi without glasses. Wait. I don't remember how to do anything. Is this actually probably be closer to the Kurokyo games than anything? Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Oh my god, I'm doing so bad. I forgot how to do everything. I wasn't, like, particularly good at this to begin with. Oh, I should have dodged that. There actually is an advantage if you play this in the English dub. Mainly, the guy that's yelling actually gives you, like, information. Like, go high, go low. So, you know, if you don't speak Japanese, but you speak English, you would actually have an advantage in the English dub. Oh well. Shit. Oh, sweet. I'm doing so bad. Fuck, fuck off, Igashi. Alright, should I use my EX is the, is the question, because I don't even remember. Yeah, I should- I should try for these. Press and hold square. During EX boost. Maybe I should do that. I know there's like a one hit move. Oh, this one. Opponent is out of stamina. EX is charged to full. Guarantees a knockdown. Do I- do I try to go for that? Your own health is low. Your EX gauge is full. So either- Either my health is low or they're out of stamina. God damn it, Higashi. Oh. I almost got his stamina low. Now his stamina is kind of coming back. Oh, he almost got it, though. Come on, I want to do this, this special knockdown. It'd be so cool. Okay. That felt a little bit pointless. Uh, 
Okay. I'll still keep my EX gauge full. Just in case. Oh, fuck you, Higashi. Ah. Shit. I know Higashi has a lot of pent up rage against Yagami. Or at least he pretends he does. I'm- I'm honestly just kind of mashing randomly. I don't even have any actual strategy very much. And I keep almost getting his stamina down all the way. Oh, here we go! I did it! <laughs> oh, I got she. Fucking murder him, dude. Looks like he's gonna get up, though. Oh yeah, he he got up again. Oh, my own stamina is wearing out. Gotta be careful. Shit. Nice. Shit. I'm not so tough, Igashi. Oh, I didn't miss, but he's darting. Shit. Oh, we got him. We got him. Alright, let's see if he's gonna get up after that. Oh, he he got up again. Alright. Feels like Higashi attacks a lot at first, and then he kind of just lets you wail on him afterwards. Here we go, yes! Honestly, it's pretty OP. Let's see if that's enough this time. Oh, he's still getting up, dude. Up. 
Come on, he almost got him. Try to break his guard down low so he can't block down low. So he gets exhausted more. Oh shit. Oh, we almost got him. <laughs> it's so OP, honestly. How much punishment can you take, Higashi? He just has so much burning hatred for Yagami. He just keeps getting back up. Let's see. Oh my god! I must have knocked him down like five times. Jesus, Higashi. What does he even say on Agashi's shirt? Got him. <laughs> oh my god, this is like every time. Dude, like every one of Higashi's ribs has gotta be broken by now. <laughs> I don't remember the max number of rounds, but I know there is a limit. Oh, I think he's done. I think he's done. Oh, finally. Damn, Higashi. Sweet. Yeah. Now the final guy. Oops. Kaito. Loves watching ringside. Matsugane Dynamite. I don't know how how tough he's gonna be. I guess we'll find out. He's probably really- he probably hits really hard. the same strategy. Kaito, what are you doing, dude? You're, like, not even guarding. Yeah. I do feel like I'm just mostly pressing but the buttons randomly, but I mean it's working, so <laughs> who cares? It's like 
playing with Kaito, is he also like attacks really slow? Oh, he actually did attack me. Oh, my stamina. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, Yagami, come on. Oh, but once once you get caught in his attack. Shit. Now he actually like knows what he's doing a little bit. <laughs> yes! Sorry, Kaito. Uh, I'm sure he's not done yet. No, no, not yet. Oh, got a ton of hits in there. Gotta be careful with my own stamina. Ah, shit. Watch my own stamina. this on normal mode so it's not like it's that hard <laughs> it's not like I'm really that good into the corner. Wait, I think there's a special move when you back someone into the corner. I remember using that a lot during my main playthrough, but I, I forgot what it is. Oh shit. See if we can knock Kaito down a second time. I think if we knock him down three times- oh, I think Kaito's done. He might be done. Oh? Oh! Yeah! Cool. So I think I think I beat everyone now. Let, let me just make sure. Yeah, I I beat everyone.
Sweet. All right, let's uh, go play some Mahjong. I'm pretty sure I did the whole completion list for Mahjong. Oh yeah, so I do some girlfriend battle assists. I need to look up how you do them. So I used to think that you just get in a fight near where the girl hang out hangs out, but um, apparently that's not exactly the case. I haven't, um, let's see, I think, I'm pretty sure I've done, like, every Mahjong thing. It's usually, like, the first thing I complete, um, yeah, oh, wasn't there a, a third? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've done all the Mahjong, but, like, let's do it again anyways. I do kind of want to try to get a girlfriend assist. So, let's go here. I want to make it be nighttime because I feel like it might have to be nighttime to get Emily for the girlfriend assist. It's our doggo. Okay. <laughs> forgot forgot the decorations I did in here. Oh, it's, it's great. I think there's other decorations, too. Oh, up here. <laughs> yeah, the, the cats are in this, but the, I guess they weren't- they're not in Kaito files for some reason. I don't remember what you do with this cat. Oh, it, it gives you items, I think. Aww. Aww. Yes, yes. Yosh, yosh. Or I probably already have that, but... SP that I don't need, I'm pretty damn sure I leveled everything. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get a girlfriend assist to happen. I need my heat to be up. Well, it's up a little bit. Um, so the way that girlfriends assists work from what I've seen is kind of like in Yakuza 2 and Kiwami 2 when you um, max out a friendship and they like throw an item to you and there's a QTE. But the difference that I've seen, I've seen this with one of these girlfriend assists. If you mess up the QTE, something really funny might happen. So if I get with these girlfriend assists, I'm actually gonna fail it on purpose the first time just to see what happens. First we need enemies to fight over here. Hmm. What gear do I even have? Lucky shirt. It's all item drop rate and stuff. Is there something that increases fight spawns? I think I 
where it might be. Underwear that supports the gluteus maximus. <laughs> I never noticed that until now. Hmm. Well, there is one that increases fight spawns. I, I don't see it, or I don't have it. There, there's someone over here. They're over here. They're over here. Okay. Let me try getting a little bit closer. I don't know if it's like random if they show up or not. I don't know what like other conditions you need. I mean, now that the game has been out for longer, maybe someone's documented how to do the girlfriend assists. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I really want to do one of these. For this one, someone said that you just- they got just like randomly in the red light district. <laughs> I'm just gonna like go to like different places and see if something happens. like this alleyway or something. I have no idea. I mean, it seems like it shouldn't be something so specific. try looking these up honestly I really don't know maybe it maybe it's not supposed to be nighttime maybe it has to be daytime because she's like off shift or something like I don't know why it's so cryptic to get these to work To say though, I haven't fought as Yagami in this game in so long, so when I actually do start fighting, it's gonna be so good. Because honestly, Lost Judgment, I think, is my favorite combat in any RGG game I've ever played, and that's saying a lot. Like, I like even more than Yakuza 0. Just barely. Alright, fuck it. I have to remember, like, what all the moves are. Oh, we should try using a tiger jaw. Or whatever it's called in this game. I never remember all the different- all the different names for all the different versions of tiger drop. I never remember them. Let's just do this. 
Oh, I thought there'd be an EX action there. Okay, maybe I'll try making it daytime and see if that works. I've got, got 14 million yen. I like how it's impossible to make Yagami wake up in the morning. Your only options are ever noon, evening, and nighttime. <laughs> Fucking relatable. Like, I didn't even think about that until now. Alright, let's go find a fight somewhere. Why would you pick up a cigarette, bud? That's fucking nasty. Okay. Here's someone. Oh, it's high schoolers. Why they all got wooden katanas? Like... <laughs> I like how one guy doesn't have one, <laughs> like... Imagine being that guy that didn't get one. EX, maybe. It's possible. Maybe I need to not be in fighting stance? I just have, like, no idea. I don't know how to make these girlfriend assists happen. I just can't make it happen. I don't know how you do it. Can you try being closer? I don't know how you do it. I love that EX action so much. It's so cool. Tripping over here, I guess. And th I think this is still part of the red light district. Yes. I just don't know how to do the girlfriend assists. I I really want to do it because I I saw this one gif that was so fucking hilarious. I might try looking it up. I, I'm gonna try looking it up. Cause this is I just have no idea how to do this. Oops, hold on. Okay. 
Okay, let's see here. She'll randomly show up at the start of a fight and throw you an item. Like the heat actions in the first Judgment game, when you fight near a friend or Kiwami 2, or near specific NPCs. They'll then cheer you on during the fight, which is basically a regen effect. I think that fight needs to be within a certain distance of where she is. I don't know that distance, what that distance is, because I've had her show up on Isazaki Road, which is right next to another girlfriend. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's all there is for that comment. Uh... Let's see. Girlfriend guide. Let's see what else. When fighting in an area near where your girlfriend lives. Huh. Okay, well this does show Yagami in this area. And it is daytime. And isn't just purely random, like, whether they show up or not? They should just, like, always show up. And then I don't know, like... Because I've started this fight and it's already happening. Can... Does that mean she can't, like, appear now? Like... Can she only appear at the beginning of a fight? I don't know. So she just like do fights over and over again until she appears. I have no idea. I mean, I'm always down to just, like, run around and fight people in these games, especially in Lost Judgment. It's too bad the fight spawns aren't as frequent as they are in Restaurant Row. Oh, there's some more up here. Let's see if I can lure them down here before it actually starts the fight. See if that makes any difference. Hey, Gravity, what's up? I'm trying to get the uh, girlfriend battle assist to work. So your your girlfriend like gives you items and battle and stuff. Come on, I'm right here. I don't know, I guess it's just random, but it's like, I've never had it happen. It's really annoying. It tries a, a few more times. I think I like go play Mahjong or something. I do, I do still want to share my thoughts on Kaito Files, because I haven't done that yet. I was kind of just waiting, like, for more people to show up. Okay, here's a fight that's, like, right here. Yeah, I wonder if you have to, like, reload the area or something. I'm trying to think. The other, the other girlfriend in Ichincho is Tsuki now. Oh, and there's the nurse. Best DLC. It is very good DLC. Obviously the nurse, like, works at the school, but... I remember she... I'm pretty sure she lives, like... I don't even remember where she lives. Um... Someone said they had a girlfriend on Isazaki Road, if I remember where that is. Oh, it's here. Alright, I can try going here. I 
I just wish it wasn't so, like, either random for them to appear, or, like, a really low chance. Alright, here's some guys up here. Let's try to lure them down here some more. Come on, guys. I'm, I'm still here. Or are they stuck on this pillar? Zelda Breath 2, yeah. It's it's gonna come out next year. They delayed it, but that's fine with me, because that just means it's gonna end up being an even better game. I mean, Breath of the Wild 1 got delayed a lot, and it ended up being an amazing game. I don't- I do not know how to get these girlfriend assists to happen. See, let me look up more information about this. Hmm. There's not that much information about it. Let's see. Okay, someone got... Someone got Hikase, the nurse, to show up in Area of Bayside by Ebisu Pawn. Said she actually showed up for an assist tonight, so I don't know if they mean nighttime in the game. Animal Crossing sold 37 million and Zelda 25 million. That's amazing. Yeah, I remember Animal Crossing sold at like a ton, like a huge amount in Japan, like when it first came out. Animal Crossing literally came out at like the best times. It was like right when lockdown was happening for a lot of people. It was kind of crazy how that timing worked out. Well, I'll try seeing if this works in the daytime, and then... Alright, there's a fight right up here. Sounds like she just comes in at the beginning of the fight, if they're going to be present at all. I'm not- I'm not sure. about those frames? What is this item? Sturdy plastic. And that's another thing. I don't know if they only show up at the very beginning of the fight or if, like, they can show up in the middle of the fight. I want to make a car run over someone. they could do with Yagami. Judge yes! Yes! I want Judgment 3 so much! And I want them to keep Kim- I want them- I hope they can keep Kimitaku as the actor. Um, not even necessarily because I have like an attachment to him specifically, but it's just 
you know, we've had two games with this face for Yagami. If they suddenly changed it, that would just be so weird. Like, I don't know if I would even, like, want that. It would just be so hard to get used to. Alright, let's see if we can get one to happen. I love how they do that. Oh, I really want to, like, throw someone into a car. Ah, shit. Yeah, I'll, uh, and when I start talking about my thoughts on Kaito Files, I'll definitely talk about, like, how it could affect the series also. Like, how they could use the characters and stuff. Replace Yagami with Brian. No, Ryan actually appears in Kaito Files, but I, I think maybe you can only meet him during a certain time in the story. Is he supposed to be on the theater or on the roof of Kamuro Theater? I, I went up there in the end game, which is where I am now, um, and he wasn't up there, so I don't know. I might have missed my chance, which is really sad. Let's see if we can throw someone into a car. No. <laughs> yeah, it's that guy got hit by a car. But I, I can't, like, cars kind of run over enemies, but, like, not hurt them. But that time, it, it did hurt, hurt that guy, I think, so that's good. I haven't had a car kill an enemy. Which is really, really hard. I'm tired of these guys. Oh, I love that! I love Yagami's moves in this game. They're so cool. Alright, I'm gonna try one more fight. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try making it be nighttime. Get over here. Get over here. E3 got cancelled. Yeah, that's right. Well, I expect in June. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's still gonna be like a Nintendo Direct. Um. I feel like Nintendo and. <laughs> RPG are like the only companies I really follow that closely. Um, so I think Splatoon is still supposed to come out this year, right? Splatoon 3? Or did they not even like say it was going to when it would come out? Oh, look at his face. Maybe they'll uh, talk more about Pokemon, too? Alright, let, let me try this fight down here. My health is getting kind of low, because I'm kind of just letting people wail on me a little bit. That would be kind of amazing if the nurse helped you beat up her students. That would be so funny. Oh, he almost got hit by the car. Maybe he did. <laughs> Divine water. Well, I might as well use it then. Wherever it is. Where is it? Alright, I'm gonna try it. Oh, summer 2022 for Splatoon 3. Yeah, then. They probably would show something for E3. I'm actually kind of surprised it comes out that soon. Yeah, Splatoon 3 is gonna be fun. I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to stream, like, online matches, but I'll definitely be streaming, like, the, um... The single player campaign.
Get over here. I'm gonna try and make it be nighttime, I guess, and see if that makes her spawn. There, there was a time, and maybe I'll still do this eventually, there's a time when I wanted to Platinum Floss Judgment. It's been seven months since you followed me. That's amazing, Gravity. Yeah, I really hope I can reach Affiliate someday. Yeah, so... <clears throat> I was trying to kind of platinum lost judgment or like work towards it but the thing the thing that is so grindy is the um creating uh crafting all of the parts for the robotics club because you can't use your own money you can only use the robotics club funds and so you like never have enough money to craft anything and you have to do like i think like four robotics matches before you get money it takes so long. Uh, maybe eventually I'll do it. Especially if this ends up being the last Judgment game. Then I would definitely like to... Uh... To Platinum it. Thank you, Gravity. Yeah, I hope I get there eventually. I keep getting new followers, but the problem is, um, your average viewership has to be at three or higher. And I think the highest has been is like one or one point something. Okay, here's a fight spawn. No, she's not over here. Yeah, I guess it's just random. I guess there's like expect you against like a million fights all the time and then like eventually one of the girlfriends will spawn. See if we can throw him into the car. No, fuck you. See, signs the car hits him, but it like it doesn't do any damage. Is there another car coming? No. Are you interested in being a VTuber? Yes, I am actually. Um I know right now my computer is like too weak for VTubing because um, a little while ago I actually did try rigging my own VTuber but it was like really hard and I only did like the bare minimum of like movements and stuff and then also my computer just couldn't handle it so eventually probably maybe after I reach affiliate I'm not sure but <laughs> They all got hit by cars. Eventually, I want to build a better PC and then, like, commission a VTuber. But, yeah, that's definitely a goal that I have. Someday it'll happen. You know there's a boost stream feature on Twitch? No, I, I don't- I'm not really familiar with that. Does it, like, cost money? Nice. I love the Superman punch in like every game. And I probably just have to like go around the city randomly until one of them spawns.
I was hoping that guy get hit by a car. My god, Yagami. Try to leave like one guy alive. Like low HP. I don't see any cars coming. I think it's a one way street here. I don't see any cars. Oh, fuck you. Let's let's try to do Tiger Drop. That did not work. I think you pay for it at least this time. Yeah, I don't know. I. It doesn't feel like right to like pay for my stream to be more popular, I don't know. Kasai? And not- not that Kasai, a different Kasai. Also, I think I heard a gun. Yes, I did. I love this EX action. Oh. Well, never mind. I didn't get to do the gun EX action. Oh, there's a car coming. Nah, I couldn't- I couldn't get him over there in time. When you reach the goal for boost, your stream gets on the front page for a few minutes. I mean, <laughs> that's another thing. Like, I want to be a somewhat- like, I want to have a following, but being on front page, at least at this point, I feel like that'd be like- <laughs> Too many viewers, like too much pressure, you know. I wonder if the, the girlfriends are just like when the map first loads, if they're just in like a random area and they're just like always there, and then you just have to like get in a fight in that area. I really have no idea how it works. Yeah, like, I, I don't think I'm a good enough streamer yet for a front page, honestly. Alright, let's make our way to the Mahjong. I know there's a couple. Try going up here, maybe. Into the bushes. Yagami's moves are just so cool in this game. <laughs> you know what? I forgot that I have the skateboard. I don't think I can use it right here because it's like a walkway, but... Oh, you see his pose at the end. That was so cool. I think that's still some heat actions I haven't seen, or uh, EX actions I haven't seen yet. It's like a lot of weapons have different EX actions depending on which fighting style you're in. His pose at the end was so cool there. I, I want to like. I, s I want I want to look at that later. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god, there's a gun. Oh, I want to use- yes! <laughs> I love that. I love how he like pretends like he's gonna shoot them. I like remember how to use all these fighting styles. There's so many different moves. Where's, where'd that thing go? There it is. Nice. Shit. Man, it's almost like, where can they even go with Yagami's, like, fighting style? Like, if they- if they made a sequel, how could they, like, improve it even more? It seems like it's already, like, as good as possible. Scorpion. <laughs> Still nothing. <laughs> oh, this is all so good. Like, this really is peak, like, RGG, like, action gameplay, in my opinion. Give me your sword. Oh, I messed it up. Your sword. Whatever it is you have. Oh, it's a dagger. Oh yeah, Yagami doesn't use daggers. Or swords, for that matter. These two guys have the same name. Maybe they're brothers. So happy for Kaito, yeah. Oh, but when I start playing Mahjong, I think that's when I'll talk about my thoughts on Kaito Files. Um, cause now that it's been a few days since I've beaten it, and I've also watched, um, some other people's streams of it, so it's just kind of like, is another... another opportunity to kind of see the story again. Um, I've definitely developed, like, a lot of thoughts about it. And positive thoughts, to be clear. In fact, I think the the more that time passed and the more I thought about, the more I liked it. Let's just fight these guys first. Oh shit, a gun. No. Come on, I want to do that EX action. Shit. I mean, I can't wall jump on this. Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, that dude is straight up as a butcher's knife. Like, who, who just, like, goes around town with one of those? Oh, I want your weapon. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, it broke. I want the Tomfa, but it broke. It's down here. Oh, 
All right, let's just, uh, you know, I've got the money for it. Let's do the royal table. Look at this dude's hat. Wait, I want it. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, I want, I want to get, like, his face over here. Oh, well. Let's just do it. 250,000. Yeah, I've got enough money for that. Uh, no, I, not this time. Not this time. I should save that for, um... I should, like, change the game to the English dub and then use that tile. Because it's, like, the only time you're ever gonna hear Greg Chun actually say, um... Whatever hand that is, it's, like, super good. Okay. Yeah, so Kaito files. I actually made a list of things I wanted to talk about because I kept forgetting things. Uh, first of all, um, yeah, so I'm gonna talk about the story. If anyone here hasn't seen it or doesn't want to be spoiled, then, uh, then you should probably leave. But, so yeah, first of all, um, Mikiko. A lot of people have been talking about how she's a really fucking good character, and as much as I love the Yakuza series, it's... No secret that they haven't always had the best track record of writing female characters, but I really, really like Mikiko, and she actually kind of reminds me, um, she kind of, she's kind of like, um, Yasuko from Yakuza 4, like, done right, because Yasuko also had a thing where she was, like, killing people, and, um, I actually... Like, Yakuza 4 is such a hot mess. I actually don't remember a lot of the plot from Yakuza 4. Um, I actually don't remember Yasuko's motive. But I do remember she was going around, like, killing people. Um, but her character is just, like, really poorly done. She just felt, like, really weak. And she ended up getting killed off, which was super dumb. Even though she's Saijima's sister... They just kill her off really fast. Um, so, Mikiko kind of just reminds me a little bit of Yasuko, but as, like, a really good character. And <clears throat> I feel like that's kind of something RGG has done a lot lately. It's just, like, taking characters... She wants to save Saijima. Yeah. I really don't remember. I, I, there's so much of Yakuza 4 I just don't remember. Because the plot was just so, like crazy and just like yeah um so what was i saying oh yes it kind of feels like in some of the more recent rgg games it almost feels like they're kind of taking characters from older games that maybe weren't as well developed or didn't have their full potential realized and just like doing them right like I said before when I was playing Like a Dragon that uh, Ryo Aoki kind of, he reminded me of Mine, but if Mine had like more development, because Mine was a good character, but you kind of don't get anything about him to like right at the end of the game. But Aoki was like, reminded me a lot of Mine, but had like way more development and had like a more personal connection to the main character. And so, um... Mikiko feels like Yasuko, like, redeemed. So that's one thing that's really cool. Another thing I like about her, um... So Yakuza series has always had this, like, thing against having, like, protagonists kill. And, like, yeah, I get it, killing is, like, bad. But they always go, like, way over the top. Especially for, like, an adult game, having this, like... Thou shall not kill. Killing is always bad 100% of the time. Our characters can never kill, even in, like, self-defense or anything. It... And there are times when it's really, like, overbearing, but I like how they did it in Kaito Files, because it wasn't so much like, oh, you can't kill the main villain because killing is wrong. It's, you can't kill the main villain because, first of all, you know, at that point he was defeated, so it's like... It's not like 
you have to kill him out of self-defense. And it's like, um, the reason it would be bad to kill him is obviously she would go to jail, and then she would lose June. Like, for no reason other than vengeance. And they even had that parallel with Kaito, like, back in the day when he cared more about vengeance than, like, the people close to him. So I, I really like that. I like that, you know, there is never, like, a criticism towards her, like, wanting to kill people. It's always just, like, someone else killed them first, and at the end, like, being with your son and not being in jail is more important than killing. And it was great, because Sadamoto ended up getting murdered anyways. He got murdered by Kenmochi, which... It's great because Kenmochi is a villain, so they don't really care if he kills someone. And also, I mean, what a great, what an amazing death scene. Because, I mean, if anyone deserved to kill Kenmochi, I mean, he was screwed over too by Sadamoto. So him killing him and him strangling him to death, it's just an amazing death scene. And that brings me to my next point, um... Sadamoto reminded a lot of people of Soma, and Akutsu reminded a lot of people- or uh, Kenmochi reminded a lot of people of Akutsu. And in some ways, that's part of what made Kenmochi killing Sadamoto so cathartic. Not just because of the way Sadamoto screwed over Kenmochi and, like, Sadamoto just being a generally terrible person, but, like, you know, in the main game, Akutsu ends up getting killed. He doesn't get killed directly by Soma, but Soma basically um, orders his death. Because uh, Akutsu found out too much about Soma, so... Seeing basically, like, an XP of Akutsu strangle, like, an XP of Soma to death was, like... Kind of cathartic. Um... <clears throat> So that was good. Um, another thing. So first of all, you know, I knew that the most recent RGG games, and especially the Judgment games, have had really, really amazing characters. Like, really well written, really nuanced, really interesting characters. So I knew that, like, if absolutely nothing else, Kaito Files was gonna deliver on that front, and they definitely did. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> and that's another thing that kind of took me a few days to fully appreciate, was just how fucking good the characters are. Um... And a character I haven't talked about yet, who I really, really love, and is probably one of my favorite characters, is, um, June. June is such a good character. Especially for, like, a teenage character. He's really, really good. I love June. It's like, you know, before Kaito Files came out, we still all wanted Lost Judgment- or, um, we all wanted a, a third Judgment game. <clears throat> Just to see those characters again. And then Kaito Files comes out, and it's like... I'm really, I really want a third judgment so I can see Mikiko in June again and see, see these characters interact with the other characters. Um, and one thing I really like about June that I did notice like almost immediately is June has so many parallels to Yagami as a teenager. Both of them were kids that had parents that, well, Yagami, it was both his parents. June, it was his dad who worked too much, and both of them felt like their parents didn't really care about them. June, obviously, his father really didn't care about them. And they both end up losing. June loses his father. He still has his mother, but Yagami lost both of his parents. Um, obviously, a big difference is June's father was fucking horrible. Sure, well, sure, as far as we know, Yagami's parents were fine. Um... But they do have that parallel, which would make it really interesting to see the characters interact. Um, another parallel that I didn't even think about until today... Um, <clears throat> uh, 
Yagami's father taught him Kung Fu, and Jun's mother taught him Judo. So that's another, like, parallel. Oh yeah, and they both were basically just, like, rebel teenagers. Um, like, Jun obviously ran away from home a lot. Yagami, um, would, like, go over to his friends' houses and just, like, be away from his parents a lot, which... It's actually what happened when Yagami's parents got murdered. Yagami was over at a friend's house because he was angry at his parents for working too much. Um, so that's like a really interesting parallel. Like, the more you think about it, the more parallels there are between the two characters, and I think there's no way that was by accident. So, um... <clears throat> I really, really want to see those characters interact. Especially since June apparently thinks Yagami is like really cool because he's like Kaito's partner. Mm. Another thing I just love, um, I mean, obviously I love like the old Yakuza games. They would have, they could have some really good emotional, really great character moments, especially like Zero and Five. But I feel like the games recently, from like Judgment and onwards, even like a Dragon, which. I have my issues with that game and some of its plot and characters, but I feel like lately the games have become just like even more nuanced with like the their characters and like emotional moments. Um, and like there's that scene near the end of Kaito Files, um, where they're on the rooftop of the hospital and um, it's like right after Sadamoto is killed. Um, it's just such a beautiful moment between June and Kaito and um, you know Kaito talks about how he had like a terrible relationship with his dad but then when his dad died all he could remember was like the good moments and oh, June yeah. was having kind of the same thing. Yeah, I, I don't care. I mean, the combat in Seven's not terrible, but I don't care for it. Um, anyways. And not only is it just such, like, an emotional and fetching scene between the two, um... But it's just... It's so nuanced, the way they deal with, like, losing a parent who was abusive. Um, it's not something that I personally have experience with, um, but I know, like, that's a thing. Like, people can have horrible parents, but they still, you know, after they die, they had just have these, like, mixed emotions of, like, they were so terrible to them, but it's like, it's their parent, and they just, it's like, it's so, it's so, like, it's so common to just, after someone dies, even if you hated them, just remember only the good times. It's just, I don't want to explain it, it's just really nuanced. And I like how they, I'm really glad they actually, like, acknowledge that part. That aspect of losing someone abusive. Both for Kaito and for June. <laughs> and that... And, you know, Kaito's saying, like, I don't know why I only remember the good parts. And I, I remember saying during the stream, I said something like, because the human brain is stupid. And it's like, you know, that's what it is. The human brain does some dumb shit. And this is just such a tender moment between Kaito and June. They do such a good job of writing June as this, like, you know, rebellious, angsty teen, but he's still, like, a three-dimensional character. <clears throat> and he definitely has reasons for acting the way he does, and I love how, like... That's another thing. In the past, RGG has had problems showing characters grieving, and... Especially, with, like, Kiryu or, like, Majima, and... A lot of fans justify it as just, like... You know they're they're internalizing it and they are suffering and it comes out in these other ways and I I, I agree with that but at the same time, <clears throat> actually showing June like trying to be a tough guy and trying to be all mature but like still crying and Kaito there to comfort him it's so good it's 
Kiryu and Yumi, yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's just, it's so, I know I just keep using the word nuance, but that's really the best way to describe it. It's just so good. Another thing I want to bring up, this is a great thing that's been in this series, basically since the entire, since the first game, in, like in the t entire series, is um, the idea that someone doesn't have to be your biological parents to be like family to you. So we've had with Kiryu since the beginning, and like Haruka and the orphans at Morning Glory, and Yagami, and Ichiban, and um, I mean that's already powerful in the West, because there is still kind of, kind of this emphasis on like, you know, your, your biological parents are the most important, especially if they're like still around, but from my understanding, that's like even more powerful in Japan. Because, um, obviously a huge emphasis on family in Japanese culture. Um, also apparently very much so on, like, biological family, like, even more than in the West. So having, having this game series with such a huge emphasis on, like, found family and, like, adopted family is, like, such a huge deal. And that definitely carries over into Kaito Files. <clears throat> Like, obviously, Chun still has his biological mother, and she is, like, an amazing mother that really loves him, but it makes me really glad that Jun didn't end up being Kaito's biological son. Because, like, he's he is Sadamoto's son biologically, but Sadamoto is still a terrible father, and it still shows how Kaito... It, it, even though he wasn't his real quote-unquote father, as in biological, he still ends up being his real father because he's just such a better father to him. He actually cares about him, and he's not, like, a fucking sociopath. <clears throat> That's actually something I kind of had mixed feelings about the more I thought about with, like, a dragon. On one hand, I really like the reveal that Ichiban was probably, um, uh, Arakawa's biological son, it's just such- It was a really good twist, just from, like, a drama standpoint, and it made sense, and it was just such a cool twist, but at the same time, it was kind of like... <clears throat> It, I feel like it kind of interfered a little bit with the rest of the series, um, kind of stance of, like, you know, your biological father, or your adopted father. Because it, it kind of, cause Arakawa was already, like, he became, like, a father figure to Ichi, and then it turned out he was probably his actual biological father. Um... But it's still, it was still good in the context of the story. And at the end, uh, Ichi doesn't even want to get, like, a DNA test done. Cause he's decided, like, you know, both um, the Soapland owner and Arakawa are his real fathers. Regardless of if there's actually any, like, genetics. So that was still cool, but... Yeah, so I, I really like in Kaito Files how that was handled, and yeah, I just, <clears throat> the more I thought of it, because I feel like at first when I first beat it, I was like, you know, that was pretty good, and I, you know, I enjoyed it, but I kind of wasn't, like, that excited about it, but then as time went on, as the days passed, and I saw other people playing through the story, I just liked it more and more. And more of the emotion and the characters. <clears throat> I just realized more and more how amazing it was. I also like how, um, I think Sadamoto is like the most evil RGG villain yet, which is saying a lot because there have been so many just like pure evil villain. Like, every time you think RGG has made the most evil villain yet, they f they find a way to one-up themselves. <clears throat> and also, like, 
Um, you know, Lost Judgment, I think, is the darkest RGG game to date, both in subject matter and also just in, like, imagery. And, um, and again, Kaito Files has these, like, shockingly gruesome scenes of, like, these innocent people at this party, like, all just, like, vomiting blood everywhere. Like, every single person I've seen stream the game, and myself, like, when that scene happens, when he first shows on the phone what's happening at the party, and there's just, like, blood everywhere, and people just, like... He killed more than Soma and Kuroiwa. Yeah, he probably did. <clears throat> I mean, Kuroiwa, up until now, Kuroiwa had, like, um, he had, like, the highest on-screen kill count. And that's just something I want to mention about Sadamoto. In some ways, he's, like, Kuroiwa and Soma combined, because he has sort of the calculatedness and, like, specific motives to kill that Soma does, but he also has the, like, complete disregard for, like, innocent bystanders that Kuroiwa does. I mean, Soma definitely killed innocent people in terms of, like, you know, he killed Sawa-sensei. But at the same time, he only killed her, like, I would say she's innocent, like, she didn't do anything bad, but he did kill her because she got too involved in the situation, like, she knew too much. Like, you would never see Soma pulling what Sadamoto did, because if Soma just, like, killed that many completely unrelated bystanders, uh, he just, he couldn't get away with that. <clears throat> Sadamoto just does not give a shit. So I think that's, like, really interesting. Um... Yeah, so I, I've seen, like, everyone freak out over that. And then also, oh, the death scene. Oh my god. That's, when it comes to, like, a singular, like, one character killing another, that's also gotta be, like, one of the most brutal deaths. Yeah, Kaido Files definitely delivered in, like, I feel like every character they introduced ended up being, like, really interesting. Like, even Ken Mochi was, like, really in He actually ended up being, like, an interesting character. Sadamo makes Yakuza look good. Yeah, I think they actually said that in the game, right? <clears throat> that he'd make, like, Yakuza pistol pants or something like that. <clears throat> and of course that- oh, and of course that whole scene where he- he cuts his own son with a knife. Like, that is so fucked up. Oh, I just- I love it. I love fucked up shit, so I really enjoyed that. I love seeing people's reactions to it, too. <clears throat> it's just- it makes you excited, like... How can the- how is RGG gonna make a villain that's even more evil? How are they gonna make a villain- how are they gonna make, like, even more gruesome scenes? It's so exciting to think about. Uh, let's get rid of this. Um, I wonder if I should go for like... Hmm... No, it's funny. I was, I was winning just by like doing this on autopilot while talking about shit. <clears throat> but now I'm like actually concentrating on the game. Um. Mm, no, I don't want that. I'll pwn if it's the white dragon, but... Oh, this person must be going for, like, all triples. Oh man, you know, I almost could have gone for seven pairs, but... Probably should start, like, cheating. Oh, here we oh. go. 
This is why I need. I think I can win with a, a six, a three, or a five, I think. Yep, oh no, that's cheap. Really? Oh, because I have a one and a three. Chief. Yeah, I'll do it. No, I just need a two. Probably not gonna get it. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. You got an idea, Gravity? Hmm, maybe I should go for seven pairs with this. Yeah, this is going pretty well so far. get more points with this. When you reach affiliate, you can add Yagami and Kaito emotes. I actually already have ideas for emotes. And they're gonna have, um... <laughs> we can have, uh, Mad Kitten, which is my mascot. You don't really see it in the stream, but you see them... They're in, like, my, um, Twitch PFP. And my Twitter PFP, too. That's probably what I'm gonna use, because the problem, the problem with making emotes based on special interests is, like, eventually I lose interest in things. Like, even Yakuza, I'll probably eventually lose interest in. Um, I also just don't really know what i do with, like, I just, I just want to use my mascot for, like, myself for my emotes, I think. But, I mean, you know, you never know. I could decide to do that. I've actually already, like, drawn some emotes. But I just- I just haven't had a chance to use them at all. Beach. You know, it's funny how much I'm winning at the, uh... The royal table. I tried winning at the royal table without cheat items like so many times in like a dragon and just the luck was always against me. do it yet. Oh, I hope this doesn't... Uh, oh, damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, well. Man, I really wish there was Mahjong in Kaito Files. I think the reason there wasn't was, um... As great as Kaito Files was, I think it was kind of on the lower budget end. Um, 
because there wasn't any licensed music and the like fancy CG cutscenes, there weren't that many of them. Uh, so I think, and also not only did like Yagami not appear, who's of course portrayed by Kimura Takuya, who's like, you know, super famous in Japan and probably, you know, is really expensive to have him play Yagami. But also Genda didn't appear and he's also like um not just voiced by a famous actor, but like his face is modeled on him. Um so I think the reason there wasn't Mahjong and Kaito files is because you know each of these things, each of these uh like hands you can get, they're all voice acted. It's like so many individual like voice acted things for Mahjong. So I'm wondering if it was just like too expensive. Also Koi Koi, that doesn't have quite as many different voice clips, but it has it has quite a few as well. So a lot of people think that's why there wasn't Mahjong in Kaito Files. Just so sad. We we all we all wanted to play Koi Koi or I want to play Koi Koi. We, we all wanted to play Mahjong. And a lot of us were also hoping for karaoke. Like, we know, we know Yagami will never be able to do karaoke because of, again, his actor, Kimutaku, being, like, an ultra-famous, like, pop idol in Japan. It costs, like, you know, a million yen to have him, like, sing in the game. Um, no, that's never gonna happen, but we thought maybe with Kaito we would get it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, oh. not. If they if they're able to make another judgment game, what they should do is they should let like a bunch of the characters sing karaoke and just straight up have Yagami be like, "Oh, singing's not my thing." Like that would be so hilarious. As like an excuse for why he can't do karaoke, he doesn't like to sing. That would be amazing. So like everyone, everyone in Japan would like get the joke, and a lot of people outside Japan would too. Well, it's sad we'll never get to hear Greg Chun sing his Yagami. At least not like officially. At this point, I might as well. My hand's already open. Gee. So if we can get an east, that would be nice. Ah, I'll take it. Zumo, zekkojo da. Ma, konna koto mo aru daro. Yakuhai, dora ni. You know what? No. Because I I don't want to stop playing Mahjong. It's just way too much fun. Mahjong really is, like, so addicting, honestly. Like, if you if you know how to play it, at least even just, like, a little bit. Hmm. because they're door. Let's get rid of the east, I guess. Even though it is the uh, wind. Mm, no, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I did not need to get rid of that. Oh well. 
Man, I really did not need to get rid of that three. Let's get rid of the six. Oh, uh, no, I don't want that. Mm. Yeah, it's better than the... Oh no, there's been two red dragons and white dragons. I mean, I really probably should have pwned those, but... I might as well. Oh man, I hope that guy doesn't win. Jeez. At least, like, get the Tempai, honestly. Yes, let's keep going. I should probably talk about um my streaming plans in the future. Um first of all, I know I haven't been streaming like that often lately. I was just like when I come home from work, sometimes I just wanna chill. Another thing is, you know, you know, I come home from work. And I like sit down to watch TV or sit down in front of the computer to eat dinner. And then when I'm done eating, it's just like, ah, I just want to keep watching stuff. I don't want to stream. Like, it's that ADHD thing of like you procrastinate things, even things that you want to do. So I do want to try and stream more. I have a three days off in a row coming up, so I really should stream during that. Um, I still do want to stream Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I know that's been out for a little while now, but... Um, for Switch, I haven't really been getting games digitally, just because I'm kind of running out of room on my Switch and memory card. Or not memory card, SD card. Um, but the, of course the problem with that means I have to spend time either going and picking up a game and hoping they have it, or like, waiting for it to get shipped as opposed to just downloading it right away. Uh, so I think on my three-day weekend, I'm gonna go out and see if they have a copy of that game. Uh, I know it's Nintendo, and Nintendo likes to not have enough copies of things made, um, and Kirby is definitely like, decently popular, but it's not like Zelda or Pokemon, so I I'm hoping that they'll have copies of it. And in the meantime, I still really do want to stream that like a dragon mod that has the judgment characters in it. I know I said I was gonna stream it and then I just like didn't stream. But I really do want to try streaming that. I think it could be a lot of fun. So yeah, that's it's kind of my, my um my plans for the future. It, it is nice, like a lot of games came out this year. And there's still games in the future of this year that are coming out, but it's nice to kind of have a bit of a lull in new releases. So I can maybe play some, like, other games that I want to stream, like, other, like, older games that I want to stream at some point. Like, I, I love The Binding of Isaac. Like, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth is literally, like, one of my all-time favorite. Maybe, honestly, maybe... It's, it's gotta be in, like, my top three all-time favorite games. I haven't played it in, like, quite a long time, and there's been some updates. Um, so that's something I want to stream at some point. And just, like, other random games that I like. I have, like, a list on my channel of, like, games I want to stream. I think I need to update it, because I think I've, I've played some games that are on that list, so I need to remove them, but... 
Yeah. <clears throat> I was also thinking, you know, I never actually ended up playing or streaming Metroid Dread, even though I said I was going to, like, back around when it was gonna come out. So I think maybe, like, this Halloween I'll actually stream it, because I don't really know of any games coming out. I, mean, I guess there's Pokemon Gen 9, which I think comes out in, like, October. I'm still not even sure if I'm gonna get that game. Um, yeah, so I, I want to stream Metroid Dread eventually. Chrono Cross Remastered. Yeah, um, I know of Chrono Cross. I don't know if I want to stream it. I don't know. I feel like the only turn-based game I really enjoy is, like, Pokemon. So I tried to get into some of the older Final Fantasy games, and I just, like, get bored of them. And, you know, like a dragon, I didn't really care for the gameplay that much. Bayonetta 3. Yeah, I want to play the Bayonetta games eventually. Another game that I have, that I haven't played yet, and I do want to play and stream it eventually, is, um, DMZ 3. So, there's, there's definitely games for me to play, whether it's, like, new games or just, like, old games. I also stream more Guild Wars 2. Especially when they have new, like, Living World episodes. I'll probably stream those. Oh. And, you know what, if, if I get- if I get the day off, um, I think I probably want to do a 420 stream too. It, it's legal where I live. I live in Washington State. I'm not sure- not sure Twitch's policy on being, like, openly stoned on stream, but, like... Oh, god damn it. But that- that would be fun to do too, I think. <clears throat> See, I, I have some plans, but it's also kind of nothing set in stone. Devil May Cry 3 and 5 are so emo. Yeah, that that's what I've heard. <clears throat> I heard 3 is like a prequel, so it's a good starting point. And I've just heard like a lot of good things about that game. Let's see, what do I want to do now? I don't quite feel like ending the stream yet. I try to get more girlfriend assists, I guess. Um, I mean, a lot of these I don't feel like doing. Like, maybe eventually I'll do them, but... Yeah, the reboot with, like, the new, the new character in Devil May Cry. Yeah, I know a little bit about that. Yeah, I said this before, I tried playing Devil May Cry 1, and it was just... It was so hard, and I didn't think Devil May Cry had that reputation of being a hard game, like Souls games or something, but it was just, it was so diff- like, I don't like super difficult games, and the first game was so difficult, I just stopped playing it. And there is like an easy mode, but, uh, I don't know. But, yeah, so... I was kind of hoping the later games are less like that. These are all mini games I like don't want to do. I actually, I think I like Paradise VR in the first Judgment more because I actually like it being a single player game more because then you don't have to like wait for the opponents. I just felt because in the first game. Your real- only real obstacle was running out of dice. That was like the- the goal was to make it to the end without running out of dice. And it just felt- 
it felt more strategic, especially after you unlocked the ability that basically let you pick where the dice landed. It didn't, like, necessarily make the game easier, but just made it more strategic and less luck-based. I just liked it a lot more, honestly. Oh, I don't want to do golf. Because I can't, I can't beat the bingo challenge. I tried, I tried it. I mean, I, I've done, like, so much in this game. Is there I like anything? What's this? Oh, that would be annoying. That would be, like, you could do that, but it'd be, like, annoying to do. You just, like, you know, mash the X button over and over again in camera mode. I mean, there's at least one more picture I want to take to close out the stream, but... There's anything else to do. I don't want to do that. I mean, there are a lot of extracts I haven't even like used yet, but like I don't, I don't feel like doing it. That's another thing that would take like a million years. Yeah, this is uh, what I was working towards for a long time off stream. I just got, I just got so burnt out on it. Cause it's, it's so grindy. Oh, this. I mean, you can do that with, um, <laughs> with that move I kept using that like downs the opponent automatically. I don't know if I really want to, like, try doing that on stream right now, because it would probably still take, like, a long time. Oh, uh, this would also take a long time, because you can only play darts with them, like, once per visit. What is this? I, I don't want to do that either. Wait, well, there is, there's one more thing I want to do, um... Let's go Kamurocho. You know what? We'll, we'll walk on the way there, just in case I can get a girlfriend to happen. I think there's only the one girlfriend in Kamurocho. Yeah, because Emily, Hakase, and... And Tsukino are all in Ichicho. Just the 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 Kamuwa girl is the only one in Kamurocho. Honestly, if they like, I I like having Yagami go to Ichicho in this game, cause it's just great to go around Ichicho as Yagami and be able to explore Ichicho without an annoying ass battle system. Um, but I honestly, like, they're clearly moving the main Yakuza series to Ichincho, and that's fine, but I kind of would want Judgment to stay in Kamurocho, because I feel like when they, f in the first Judgment game, and when they first introduced Yagami, he was really, like, a man of Kamurocho, like, even more than Kiryu was. And they really kind of, um, emphasize- oh god, I don't remember, it's been so long. Okay, good. <clears throat> I love this, I love this. I really kind of emphasize that with the friend events for Yagami, and it all culminated with him, with this, uh, side case where basically you work together with all the friends you made in Kamurocho. And just to be like a detective and stuff. Um, he's just really a man of Kamurocho, so I would- I would like for him to stay in Kamurocho mainly. Considering that Kaito Files took place almost exclusively in Kamurocho, it, it seems like there's a good chance of that happening. Also, I don't know if this is intentional, but, uh, one of the kanji in Yagami's name is also a kanji in Kamurocho. Again, I don't know if that actually means anything, but... It, it might. It might. <clears throat> so, yeah. I mean, it, that would be cool to have 
series take place like equally in both cities because obviously Yokohama 99 is there but um and Higashi opening a Charles branch in Ichincho but I would definitely like this series to mainly stay in Kamurocho. Even a lot of people are just like tired of Kamurocho after like, you know, 10 games or whatever. I will never be tired of Kamurocho. I think what they need to do is Kamurocho always like changes a lot between games, but like ever since basically like Yakuza 6, it's remained like kind of the same. Aside from just like a couple locations changing, so maybe they need to like make another version of Kamurocho again. They should at least like rebuild Little Asia. Like this place up here right north to us which has been completely like under construction since like Judgment. For like how many years is that now? Like four plus years? I mean, it got destroyed in Yakuza 6, so it's really been like six years that it's been destroyed. Oh my god, stop. I mean, where where are all the like immigrants supposed to go if Lil Asia's not around? Shit. Sweet. I'll let the gun go flying. That was awesome. <clears throat> I saw this here in Kaito Files, so I think it- yes, it is here. It is here. It is here. Let's see if I can get a good picture. Anyone- anyone that knows about what's happening with the trouble with Himutaku's agency and Sega. Oh my god. Come on. Well. <laughs> Himutaku's agency is called Johnny's and Associates. A lot of people call it Johnny's for short. And I realized that there is a. <laughs> There's a business that's been here. It's been a series since at least, like, Yakuza 4 or something. And it's still in the game, so I thought I could take a picture of this. Where's the other picture I took? There we go. I just thought that'd be perfect. It's not spelled the same, but you know. You know. Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna end the stream. By saying, hey, Kaito Files is over now, which means the Judgment series might be over, but God, I hope it's not. And if it is over, it's because of Johnny's the Idiot. There's no way to fight the HUD. Well, I can just do this. It's kind of a shorter stream, but you know, I just kind of wanted to finish everything off with Kaito Files and some stuff in Lost Judgment too. So yeah, thank you everyone for coming. Um, yeah, next stream I think will either be uh, like a Dragon Detective Files mod or Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Thank you everyone for coming and I will see you next time. Good night.